Get our videos. So today I'm gonna be collecting some dry, dry joints or cold solder joints in this power supply of this TV. It's a Celestial or Chang Hong, as you can tell by the logo on that transformer. And everything else in here, it's a Chinese generic thing. It's actually yeah made by Chang Hong, but sold on a Celestial brand. It's a, I think it's a 2002 model. Obviously made in China. And if you look at all the electrolytics, they're all generic. TLC and Aishi and other unknown brands. That's the only one I've replaced so far, that big one at the back, which is a, just a crappy one out of an LG TV. It's all I had at the time. So trying to correct a bit of convergency issue, but as far as I know, those STKICs are fine. And all the joints around there, I've checked under there, they're all fine, so... Yeah, even the flyback tracks are on splitters made by Chang Hong. So yeah... Everything's all good here. Just gonna wait for the soldering iron to warm up and I get under this power supply board and correct a few cracks because I did a pretty crap job of soldering. You can see where things have been getting hot. Where is it? There's a power transistor there, you can see the board's all cooked. There's a diode there in front of it, and it's all just there. That sort of stuff just cracks solder like crazy. Uh, poor job of a bit of a solder this anyway. Oh well, I, th I might even have to take this um, plastic thing off to do it. To get out all the extra joints. Screws at the corners that I take off. I do the ones in the middle though. There's, there's some on this um, main big chat so I'm going to have some dry joints. So I do them. Get touch them up with a soldering iron. It's got big Fiello Chinese speakers. 20 what, 8 ohms. I'm not bad for a rear projection TV, that's for sure. It has Panasonic CRTs. All made in Japan. And this here you can do your adjustments. Here's your, yeah, high voltage calibrations. That's your x-ray precaution, all that sort of stuff. They need to touch all that. that. That stays as it is. But yeah, show you the front of it while that soldering iron's warming up. Here's a back. I'll take this back off and show you what, when it's going. There's a front, big celestial badge, panel that does nothing, I don't know what the hell that's there for. Power button and your uh, program, value, menu and TV, AV. Smart focus feature which adjusts the lines of picture, there's a sensor here, a sensor there, there and there. It helps do um, a better, uh, it must be like an auto convergence sort of thing. It makes a picture a bit better but it's still slightly out and each of these corners is slightly bent and yeah. Hopefully it's not a middle one or probably. But yeah, we've got S video. Front this is your front AV port here. But yeah, that is just snap off. Velcro those speaker wheels and you can take this off and service it from the front. For something made in China, it's built better than an LG one, that's for sure. The LG one I service is more plastic than um wood. This is actually the uh, uh, um cosmetic and uh, but overall build quality is pretty damn solid for something made in China. This TV came from a club which just smells of beer and cigarettes. It was pretty damn dusty when I got it. It had spider webs all behind here which made the picture all blurry. We had to get in there and clean the mirror, clean the screen and clean the projection lenses. It's so bad. In here you couldn't see much at all. It was just all full of nicotine crap and spider webs. It smelled of beer. But now I've got the air compressed down and it's flushed it out repeatedly. So yeah, this is what it looks like now. Nothing obviously has been burnt. I can't see any... Visually I can't see the capacitors are bad, but there's probably one in there that's bad somewhere that I can't see. But yeah, I know that one, that one there I replaced, that big one at the back. It actually, um, the legs are corroded off of it. I just touched it with my finger and there you go, it just fell off. So I had to take it out and put that one in. Same rating, just the voltage is higher, but yeah, still all works. Okay, I have the soldering iron one, we can do some touching up. Bring this out a bit. Now I'm gonna look carefully. It's a little bad joint there. I did this off camera. It's pretty hard for me to hold the camera and do it at the same time, so 